Linen Boards presents Retro Computing using FPGAs Part 7 Now that you have it, what do you do with it? One thing all these computers had back in the day and even the first IBM PCs had was the ability to write programs in BASIC. So if you're running the CompuKit UK101 on FPGA, what do you have to do to make BASIC run? When you see the Segmon prompt, hit C for cold start and W for warm start and enter twice for memory size and terminal width and BASIC will run automatically. The first program a lot of us wrote in BASIC is a little program called Hello World. Type in the following, 10 space print space double quote hello world double quote enter and then run. After you type enter and run, the program will run and print out hello world on your screen. Congratulations! If you've never done it before, you've just written your first program. Let's take a little closer look at that program. The 10 was the line number and lines have to be in consecutive order. We left space at 10 in case you want to put program lines before that. The print is the command. That's the thing that you're telling the computer to do. And hello world is the string, the thing that you want printed. And when you run that simple line, it will print hello world. A couple of other useful commands are list and new. If you type list, it lists the program that you just wrote. And if you type new, it erases the whole program. Go ahead, list your program, and then delete it by typing new, and type list again to make sure that it got deleted. Real programmers will tell you you should never use a go-to, but it's very common in BASIC to use go-to. If you type in this little program and run it, what do you think will happen? I'll pause the video here to type it in. If you guess that it'll print Hello World forever, you're pretty much right with one exception. How do I stop that screen? Pressing down the control key and holding it and pressing the C key will stop any running program. Try it. But what if I want to do something a little different? What if I only want to print Hello World 10 times? Hmm, how would I do that? Well, I would do something like this program right here. I would add an I is I plus one to count the number of lines and if I is less than 10, I would go back to 10. Would that do it? Give it a try. Uh, it might be hard to believe, but what you've just learned is pretty much the basics of basic. Yeah, there's a lot more details you can learn, but if you get these details down, you pretty much have a solid foundation for anything you do moving forward. Watch the video over and over again until you get it down and you understand and you can remember the names of the commands because they are very basic to basic. Thanks for watching our video and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.